right, ladies. So what I'm going to show you today, I found a set. And for those that will eventually watch this on YouTube, I will be putting a, a link to it. I just downloaded it. And here goes. I've got all these lovely images. But when I saw that, what can I do with them? So that's what I'm going to try to show you. So control A. I found, I always thought I have to go from photos add, but I just drop them in like so. And that's another way of bringing them in. So you just highlight all your images, knowing where they are, drag them into photos, and they will then be there. I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna save this, because when I save it, if it closes, this photos should remain in photos for me. So I'm just going to give it a save and call it friends there. And I've got it there. So that's been done. And I can start working with it. Now, now that we have the name for this video, I'm going to delete that and get going. So I'm doing a A5 card. So to start with, what I need to do is go to stencils. I'll bring in a stencil. And I'm going to place it so that it is more or less an A5 size. Just told them to put the telly down because I can hear it. I don't know whether you could hear it, but I just told them off. Sorry, ladies. So let's have a look and see what we're going to do with this one. For the first one, I needed a background. So I copied my page. So I have the exact size for it and I have the same stencil. And I brought in a piece of material or a, a square, really. And then I needed a color and I wanted to pick up a color from one of these images. So I just brought an image in and I'm gonna pick up a nice lightish color, not the very lightest, because I'll show you why. And I'm gonna fill it with my rectangle with that color for my background. If you don't want it that much, can you see here I am on CM yk sliders so if i take the m magenta and i go down slightly that's gonna make my color a bit lighter i need to be on it so i'll just go here and i can just make it a little bit lighter if i wanted to you can decide what color you want to get it to be right so that would do me nicely now the next step i wanted to put happy birthday in a lighter color, I want to fill it up and I don't want them the same size. What I want is to have something like so. So I'm gonna have happy. You know, I split my words. And don't worry, enjoy it because I will do it with you. I'll do a card with you again. So I'm gonna change that one to Baby Giovanni, I like it. I'm going to do it like so. I can make it a bit smaller. I'll do all of them smaller. And then, once I pick those two up, I'm going to do 16. So again, I'm going to take my text. I'm going to put 16 here. 16. So now I can group all of them together. One two and 16. I can make them smaller and I can change the color for them. So again, if I pick up one of the images I've got and pick up a lighter color, something like that, I'm gonna change them to that color. And now when I take them on here, you can easily see them. Now, my next thing is, if I leave it here for a minute, I'll take my stamp and I'm gonna go there. 
and I'm going to start putting it on different places. They don't have to be exactly the same. And in fact, when I finish them, I will also make some different sizes. And you'll see how they'll turn up. So you can adjust them afterwards. So I'm going to place that one there. And if I leave the 16 quite prominent up here, I can then see it. I'll, I'll put my design around it. So happy birthday. I can make this smaller to fit it nicely somewhere there. And this one, I can bring it there. So that can come all the way. I don't want them aligned. So I need to have them going different, or if I got them like that, I'll put it a little bit smaller. I don't want them all aligned as if I've just placed them one next to the other. Place that one there and make it smaller again. You can do different sizes. You can do whatever it is you like. Some of them, you can even turn them around. So if you don't want them all, in the same direction, that's fine. You don't have to have them all exactly the same. I'm gonna do them something like that. Okay, and when I'm ready, when I delete that, I'm gonna pick up my stencil and lift it. So now I have a piece of material. If I pick it all up, remember, I can go to tools, convert to picture, and it becomes one image. I can go a bit bigger, slightly bigger. So when I take it from here, control X, go on to my main one, control V. I just adjust it with fit it in nicely. And now I've got my image for the background. Now that I've got that, all I need to do is decide how I want to do this birthday card. So there's loads of different things you can pick up. But what I've used before and in the one I did, you can decide when you look at them, say, right, I'm gonna go with the drink and the bottle, whatever. Or you might say, no, I'm going to go with clothes and clothing, the bedroom. So you can do anything, try to decipher what you've got in those images. Now, I think they look nice. A little bit sussy, but hey ho, if it's a 16 year old, I'm sure they're not gonna mind something like that on the side. If it's too much for you ladies, don't do it. Doesn't matter. Then you have things like the bucket with the drink. You might say, you know what? I'm gonna put the bucket with the drink here. And if it is a little bit big, so what? And you can get a glass in and you can place it. Now the glass, of course, is not as big as the bucket. You make it a little bit smaller and you can place it just by the side there. And that tells you she's on her own. If you want her with someone, control C, control V for two glasses. Then you've got a nicer set. All right, so it's up to you how you want to set it up. Now, on the one I've shown you, which was that one, you see, I've put all the jewel box and I've put all the pieces that she, um, for her makeup and the dress. If you don't want it like that and it's easy, you just bring them in. What you could do is you say, I'm going to do, let's have a look. Maybe a chair down behind. You can select the images you want. Now, if you're going to put that there, okay, you need to send it all the way to the back and then two forward. One, two. So it is, she's this side of that chair. So she's on the floor, but I would keep it where you can see the happy birthday. Let's see. You can see that it says happy birthday and birthday 16. So you've got it all there. Okay. So she's messing about in her living room, whatever.
It says bring the champagne, ring for champagne. If you want, you can have one there because it's not affecting that happy birthday. And I like that. So if I'm going to do that one, all I need to do is highlight all the images, make sure I pick them all up, and put a little bit of a shadow on it. That shadow makes such a difference. Not too much, but it does make a difference. It looks like it's more 3D. I'm going to leave it like that because sometimes more is less, they say, or less is more, they say. I'm going to lift my stencil, but I'm going to show you something else before I finish it. Because that cushion is so clean and nice. So if it was a birthday and it was happy birthday, sweet 16, whatever, and it is somebody called Sonia. You can now put the name on there. Make it a bit bigger. So now you've not only did it for a 16 year old, but you also customized it with her name. And that makes a difference. Okay, so I hope you like that one because I've got loads in my head that I can be showing you. Another thing, if you wanted to, you can put a little box around it. Slightly bigger than your original one. Just to have a line going. Or if you wanted it all in black, Fill it with black and send it to the back. And there you go. So it's entirely up to you whether you'd like it like that or you'd prefer it just a line going round. If it's a line, I'd click on it again and I'll do a double line. I'll click that off. I'll take that out. So it's a line, but do it a double line and a bit thicker. Maybe something like that. Remember, if you're going to do it like that, pick everything up, make it slightly smaller. I'm recording. Slightly smaller so that it can fit nicely if I print. Because most of us, when we print, you have an edge. And you need to think about that edge. If you don't, you'll end up with three edges around that shows the, um, the design, the lines, and one line on the side that doesn't show you any or just in the middle. So think about that and make sure you put it right. I'm going to stop recording.